We do have a video first uh, from Lathrop that we'd like to show, so we're getting that set.
Hello, Lather Village residents. It's that time of year again to do the year in review. 2020 was a year to say the least, but I can say that the staff at the city of Lather Village has done a phenomenal job in keeping us all safe. We closed down City Hall to make sure that we wiped everything down and made it COVID compliant. We put all of our meetings online, so now you can see your planning commission, see your city council, and your DDA virtually. Though we had to change the way that we operate, we still provided programs to you. We just had to tweak them a little bit. Like for example, we still are offering exercise classes, though now it's virtual. And when it gets warmer outside, we have more exercise classes outside, like yoga in the park. Along with the programs, we also wanted to make sure that we brought new opportunities to you. For example, we have a dog park now that's open year round. And coming in the spring, we'll have a community vegetable garden, which I am really excited about. And of course, we'll have all the things that you've come to love, like having food trucks, which was food truck Fridays, but now we'll have them throughout the week. And then we have something new, which will be the Halloween house contest, the house decorating contest. And of course, ending out the year, we had our Christmas tree lighting ceremony. Though it had to be virtual, we still made sure that it's, you had the opportunity to see our Lather Village Christmas tree. Though we had to change some things around in 2020, just know that the staff is working very hard for you to make sure that 2021 will be just as nice, if not better. It's uh, now my uh, great pleasure to introduce the mayor of Lather Village, uh, Kelly Garrett. She has, um, was elected to uh, city council in Lathrop in 2013, served as, 2011, excuse me, I got to update my bio. Um, served as mayor pro tem 2013 to 17 and has been mayor since. She's the recipient of the Wonder Woman Award from Women um, uh, Officials Network and also the National Congress of Black Women, um, Woman a Pioneer of Distinction Award. Um, ladies and gentlemen, Kelly Garrett, my sis little sister from another mother. Come on. <laughs> expecting that at all. So this is what I want you all to do first of all. I'm not going to be long because um, I do have another meeting to get to, but I really need you all to do this with me. Just taking a deep breath through your nose and then exhale out your mouth. Why am I asking you to do that? Because I'm a storyteller first of all. Let me explain to you why I'm in a panic right now. So number one, I couldn't get out my driveway, and I was supposed to be here at 10.30. There was a construction truck behind my car. That's number one. Number two, as I'm outside talking to the guy, explaining I need to go, he's explaining to me everything they're doing, which at that time I didn't care. <laughs> Got here, looked all around, and I don't have my notes for the, the, the speech, right? I know I can wing it but I didn't want to because this was going to be my year of preparation for the first time. <laughs> so I end up calling someone that changed my life in 2020 because I did, right before the pandemic, get married. And my husband, who had to get dressed and run up here to not only bring my, my speech, but also He's smarter than me because he brought my glasses because he knows I can't read this speech. <laughs> so I want to say thank you very much for coming up here, Cornell Beatty. <laughs> 
And the other thing that I will say is that I really just want to say ditto to everything in the video because that's everything that I wrote down also. But the funny thing is I felt as though you needed my um, personality to go with it because that lady was um, hoodwinked at that day because I didn't know I had to do that. So I had no idea of what I was going to say. And so that is what's called an improv, because I had no idea that I was going to do that. Matter of fact, can I be just a little bit transparent? I had sweats on that day. And you don't even realize that I had taken the sweatshirt and did it in such a way you all think it's a sweater. So anyway, <laughs> thank you all for having me. I truly appreciate being here. Um, I don't want to say, I was going to have you all snap every time I said pandemic because I know I'm tired of saying it. I'm tired of hearing it because we are on the other side of it. And if you are sitting here today, that means that you are a victor, that you did what you were supposed to do, and you should really give yourself a round of, of applause. So because of COVID-19, we had to change some things, as we all know in how uh, we saw in the videos and the PowerPoint. Um, but Lathrop actually was able to stay open. We closed down just to wipe down, but we stayed open all the way through from March until now. And I have to say, as much as I want to take credit for it, I cannot. The credit goes to our administration and our staff. And they are here today, and I will start with the phenomenal who, I have to say, she is the heavy lifter, I'm just the face. Dr. Cheryl Mitchell, our city manager. The person that is uh, the one that keeps us totally um, out of the red. Good one? Yeah, out of the red, okay. I have Pam Barashi, who is our treasurer. So now that I have them both in the same room, they can kind of talk. I have a work husband. And I have a home husband, I don't know if that's how you say it or whatever, but Bruce Cantor is our mayor pro tem. He calls me every day pretty much to tell me what I did wrong or what I should do. And if I didn't have him as the pro tem, what would I do? <laughs> and we have our administrative assistant, Melanie Simpson, who just joined us. And then this guy. <laughs> Our code enforcer, funny story, so he drives around and you know he gives out tickets. So he's coming up to this particular door to complain about somebody's garbage can being left out too long. And guess who opens the door? It's me. <laughs> Rami, and I'm gonna mess your last name up. Sweden. He, this is the second go around with Lathrop because I had to beg him to come back and be our code enforcer. So give a round of applause to Ronnie. So when it came to COVID-19, I believe in community. I believe in helping each other. Um, so what we did was we started a food distribution. And it was through Oakland County at first. And they again hoodwinked me and sent me 1,200 food boxes. I had no idea of how I was going to move 1,200 food boxes. But we did it, and we did it in an hour and a half. And so then, because that happened, they asked me to do it over and over and over again. If there's anybody in here who has volunteered, which I don't see too many people, but you'll know that I am a nightmare when it comes to moving that food because I was so terrified that we have food left over and I never wanted to waste it. And the one thing that I will say, and, I, and I'm saying this to all, just because someone looks a certain way on the outside and just because someone might drive a car that they drive, the way they look, does not mean that they're not struggling at home. They might be putting on a, a safe face, a great face, just to try to get by. So before we judge, just know there's some people that just don't wear it on the outside. So yes, there were Lathrop Village residents that needed that, that uh, lifeline. So I was glad to be able to, uh, to provide that for them. The other thing that we had was our DDA was able to assist our small businesses by awarding over $200,000 through the Loving Lathrop Village Business Mini Grant Program. And this grant was for small mom and pop businesses that were impacted by COVID-19. 
And that was from um, our DDA director, Susie Steck, was able to commandeer, I shouldn't say commandeer, but get that grant. And unfortunately, she's not here with us today. And as you saw in the video, we have opened an, our community vegetable garden. I particularly like that because I can now go up there and help because I do not know how to garden, but I can pretend in the garden with everybody else and that's all that matters to me. The next thing we opened was a dog park and I have been looking for a dog park and I know that this is not as um, business oriented as Southfield, but we're a mighty city, small yet mighty. And I'm trying to get a, a little catchphrase to go with that, but I'm still working on that. Um, the other thing, and when I say about community, we did partner with Southfield in 2020. Yeah, we did, okay. So what we did was the Neil to Hill. I think uh, you said that Sharon is here. Sharon, would you please stand up if you're still here? That was really phenomenal, and I don't know if I told you that before, just trying to get two communities together and just to show that we're all supportive of Black Lives Matter, and everyone matters, but at that time it was Black Lives Matter, so kudos to you, and I look forward to doing that again if possible. The other thing that we did, we partnered with uh, the Southfield Police Department, and that's when you know that little, we might be a little city between uh, Lincoln and 12 Mile, except for some reason, your speeds can get up to hundreds between that little area. So we partnered with Southfield and with Beverly Hills, and we did, what's the right word to say? We did a speed, nope, that's the wrong word. We, <laughs> that's what I was trying not to say. So we did a uh, traffic safety initiative between all three cities. <laughs> and the best thing, you remember why I wasn't here today or not on time? Sorry, Jasmine. Anybody remember that? Because of a construction truck? I am so happy to announce that we have now, was a $12 million infrastructure going on right now, repairing all the streets and Lathrop Village. And I must say again, if it was not for the Mayor Pro Tem of heading up the infrastructure uh, committee, we would still did it, but we don't know where <laughs> we would have been. So we are repairing all the streets, all the ditches, all well, the sidewalks or something different. But the fact is this is something, I didn't run on it, but I'll take the credit, I'll let her take some of the credit. But I got the roads fixed, and I'm not going to use it for family, but you know where I was going with this. So this is an excellent time. Our residents aren't that thrilled. They're thrilled, but not thrilled because it is, it's a little daunting, but we're getting it done. And I think I might be all done, and I think I'm still under the time. So it's a $12 million project. Okay, last one. I'm going to do a did you know, see if you even care about this, okay? Did you know that Lather Village is, has the highest median income for African Americans. Don't start trying to say, you're only 1.5, just let me revel in that for a second. Um, then the last, did you know, that Lather Village has the highest housing value for black families. Just wanted to leave you with something. I would love to talk to you all more. I'm going to do maybe a PowerPoint if I'm here next year. But this year I figured the video was enough. I thank you all. I'm so happy to be in front of you all again. If I never saw a Zoom again, it would be too soon. So you all have a great afternoon. Stay safe and we'll see each other soon. Mayor Garrett, come back. Thank you, Mayor Garrett. I also need Mayor Cyber. They are not aware of what we're doing right now, so. On behalf of Lawrence Tech and the Southfield Chamber, I would like to present a token of appreciation, a personalized token for your work and dedication, Mayor Cyber and Mayor Garrett.
Thank you, Brent. On behalf of the Southfield Chamber of Area Commerce, we are very happy that you were able to join us today. I just want to take a moment to say a special thank you to Rochelle Freeman. And Tammy Salisbury. And the events committee. If you're a member of the events committee, please stand. Thank you very much. We invite you to join us and to stay in network. Thank you for joining us.